a perfect day Drank sangria in the park Then later when it gets dark We go home Just a perfect day Feed animals in the zoo Then later a movie too Then home Oh, it's such a perfect day I'm glad I spent it with you Such a perfect day You just keep me hanging on You just keep me hanging on Just a perfect day Problems are left alone We can do on our own It's such fun Such a perfect day You made me forget myself Thought I was somebody else Someone good Oh, it's such a perfect day I'm glad I spent it with you Such a perfect day You just keep me hanging on You just keep me hanging on You're gonna reap Just what you sow Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing Perfect Day by Lou Reed. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So I've played this a little bit differently, and actually I took inspiration from uh, a guy I saw playing this fingerstyle on YouTube. I can't remember his name, but I'll leave a link below. And I didn't really... Um, you know, I can't finger pick. I'm not really a finger picking type guy. But um, I took some ideas from this guy or borrowed some ideas. So thank you very much. But his links below, check him out. He's a really beautiful player. And uh, his links below and the kind of original finger picking version. Which, yes, I could probably learn. But, you know, for singing and playing, it's, you know, I've, 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 you know I'm a different kind of player. Okay, so but check it out anyway so the reason i put this on a capo on the first fret is so you can play with the original song okay it's in the original key now i start off with this li little intro now you have to understand a lot of the time i'm improvising with this hand it doesn't have to be perfect in fact i won't be able to tell you exactly what i was doing in the intro but I can just give you the techniques that I'm using, okay? So it starts off with an E major, and I'm pl plucking the sixth, the, the third, and the fourth. Then with my two fingers, I'm plucking the two middle strings, and moving my first finger to what we're gonna call the, we're just gonna keep it the same, the third and the fifth fret. So from the, the second and the third to the third and the fifth. Then your first finger goes back to the uh, second fret. And I'm going to pluck the B and the G. So if I do that slowly. And then 
and finish with an A minor. So with the A minor I'm hitting the A string and the B and G. The fifth and the second and third. So that's slowly. Now I'm just doing a one, two, three, okay? E, B, G. Repeat. Then I'm just into A minor, you've got the first line. Such a perfect day to D. Then I do this, we're going to G, but what I do, I play the F sharp. Obviously it's not F sharp now, but you know, we're just imagining the capo is not on, okay? Uh, so it's gonna be A minor. D. And I'm using my thumb to play in that third fret and then form a G. So it doesn't really matter what notes you hit here, okay? So slowly, if I just strum it. Now you don't have to use your thumb there, you could go. That's going to be F sharp to G. Leads you into C. Then I remove my second finger. Don't always get that right. And then F. D minor 7. And then D minor. Then E major. Now when I'm picking it, I'm just improvising, okay? Okay, I'm not much of a finger picker, like I said, but it's just to create that sort of downbeat vibe, you know? It's just a little bit smoother, a little bit softer. But then we've got what we call a major lift. So it goes to A major. And I'm just playing it up here. So that's like um, an F major 7. Like an F, but you want the top E to ring out, so you don't bar that anymore. And you just slide that up to the 6th fret. Okay, we're going to call that A. It's a chirp. Okay, then I flatten it down so it is like an F. And then I play one fret lower. To a D. Now you could just do, if you don't want to do that position, you could just do a normal A. Such a perfect day. So you could just do two strums on A. It doesn't sound as cool in my opinion. So that's a C sharp minor. Back to D. Then we got this rundown. I don't always get that right again, it's a little bit fiddly. So it's a normal D, and I'm plucking the D string and the top E. Then I put my pinky on the 5th fret, and pluck the top E in A string. I didn't move my 3rd finger, and then I put my 1st finger on the 3rd fret on the A string, and pluck the B string. So you got this. Uh, that's it. And then you can play normal A, and all I'm plucking there is the open A, and the B string and G string. That'll take a little bit of practice. Ah, yeah. Sorry. If that's a little bit fiddly for you, alternatively, um, yeah, that's a, that's a nice little alternative. So it's a normal D. Remove the second finger to play a sus2. Put your first finger on the B string. On 
the A string rather, on the third fret, and pluck the second string and the fifth string, and then play an A major, second string and fifth string again. So and that's a nice alternative. Okay, so the first one is. And the alternative is. So there's not much difference in it, okay? It's your preference. So. Oh, such a perfect day. So that resolves on the A. Such a E, perfect day. And then we got F sharp minor. You just keep me E hanging D on. And that repeats. So then we've got another verse again, which is exactly the same as the first verse. Another chorus was the same as the last chorus. So then we've got this break section, and it's a little bit fiddly. I'm using my third finger, the fifth fret on the uh, G string, and then I'm barring down at the third fret. And I'm plucking the B string and the bottom E at the same time. So that's the first bit, so I've got B and E, uh, 2 and 6, then I'm going B, G, B, G, or 2, 3, 2, 3, and then I do exactly the same except I remove this bar and put the first finger on the third fret on the B string. So you end up with this descending pattern. So. Then these fingers stay in position, and I then pluck the D string and the B and the G. So B and D together, then the G. Then I move my first finger to the third fret on the G string and pluck D, B, G. So that last one's a little bit fiddly. And finish on the B, okay? The whole thing slowly. twice and then we end up to C sharp minor you're gonna read and that's a G major 7 so normal G well actually I'm doing a sweet G so my third fingers on the B string that's how it should sound but what I'm doing I'm moving my first finger to the third fret don't forget we got the capo on okay so it's even more confusing and I'm removing my pinky and that we end up with that. So no, there's a normal G. To make a G major 7, we put our first finger on that top E string and remove the pinky. Okay, so just going back a, a little, so it's the C minor, C sharp minor rather. You're gonna read just what you sow. Then it goes to D and the descending pattern. Then I end up on an A major. So I'll just do that again. So C sharp minor. You're gonna read just what you sow. Descending pattern. A major. And with the A major, you kind of strum it. And then one, two, three. Then I move my second and first and second finger over to the G and the B string. Then I put my third finger, I stretch it all the way over to that fifth fret. Four. So we hit that first. Let me do it in time, so. A bit scruffy, but you get the idea, right? So. Okay, so it descends, so this bass note descends down. 
and then back to that uh, G major 7 and then D descend So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want the weekly updates, don't forget to hit that bell button. I don't get paid for these covers guys, so if you'd like to support me, I've set up a donation button over on my website and anything you can give is hugely appreciated, okay? It just helps me to continue do these lessons, all right? Also, I have some t-shirts for sale below with this logo and some others as well. And there's also a link to Spotify and Instagram if you wanted to hit me up with a follow. And I'll see you again the same time next week. Thanks very much for your support.